um, one of the things, how, how you know, someone goes looking for the right provider and the right agency, how would, how, what, what would you suggest them to do? Uh, first thing, you're looking for the right provider. Um, I would try to use word of mouth. I would try to find people that have providers and see what will work for them. And those usually are the best providers, the ones you hear from word of mouth. Uh, you can go on your website. There's, there should be a website for, for your MRDD, your area, and there will be different providers. Uh, you want to look at the compliance uh, part of it, see what kind of complaints they have. Are they up to date? Do they have any complaints against them? And you want to interview them. You want them to meet your loved one. And if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable, it's probably a reason why. They're probably not a good fit. Uh, the best way I found out is word of mouth. Who had what provider? And, and you know, like for example, um, if Sally had, you know, company A, and she said company A took care of loved one, and they had no issues, and made sure they were always smiling. That's great. And Sally, say Sally had B, and and B was negative. You know, then you know not to use use negative news company B. So word of mouth is best, but you could also use your your county board of MRDD, but if you have anybody, you know anybody, that's what I'm saying, you know, reach out to individuals. You know, if there's not a, not a, a group in your area with armor, that, that deal with autism, uh, please reach out to me, and I'll, I will try to make sure that you get the right answers you need. But that county board, but word of mouth is the best way. Um, what, what is your um, experience of being with the, with the counties, the different counties you have had your son and have it? Have they helped you out or, you know, have, um, because I know you've been several counties, um, have they assisted in any kind of way or have they provided any other resources or help, anything like that? Yeah, the counties, you know, our counties is not good for us. Uh, they have not protected my, my son and a lot of other individuals. It's just not good for us. Um, our county is all, about, all like, like smoke and mirrors. Certain counties are better than others. Like uh, some counties really, really help the people, then they really help their individuals. And but it all starts with your SSA, and that could be like the middle management. That's the one. That's what. That's what. That's what gives you all your information. That's who find out different benefits of, you know, of the state and what they could do for your loved one. And SSA. If your SSA is not in your corner, he or she will not give you all the benefits that your loved one deserves. And you have to stay on top of your SSAs, too. And if, if you don't, then a lot of times they'll get compliant, and you won't get those benefits. Like, uh, I know with mine, I requested information about a service dog. I, I received nothing, no information from them. Uh, I, asked, I requested different information. I received nothing from them. And so uh, your, your county, you know, it depends on your county. I, sometimes some counties are good, some counties are horrible, and unfortunately, you gotta make the best of what county that you you have and that you live in. But the main the main person you need to make sure your loved one treated right and get the right rights and stuff they deserve is your SSA. Um, uh, what about uh, what have you learned about the laws and when it comes to certain incidents? Uh, um, because I know you had some challenges with um, dealing with the laws and lawyers and things like that, the legal aspect of it. Uh, as far as, um, you know, you, it was a recent incident with what, what happened with your son, and it made local news here. Um, what, ha what, has, what has it been like to go through that? I'll be honest. Um, since I've been going through all this stuff, I, I, I don't feel too confident with the law. A lot of times they try to hush this stuff up. They try to hide it. They don't really need to protect your loved one. Uh, most of the time, it's hush hush. It's like shh. Let's not discuss that. Um, I feel they don't get get the right the right treat, legal treatment. I think that they get treatment as a person that doesn't belong in this country. I mean, if you're like a legal immigrant, that's how you treat them. Uh, they have like they have rights, but they have no rights. Uh, nobody really protects their rights, and uh, unfortunately, that's common. Uh, the rights are always always violated, and the, the law system, the legal system, the judicial system, nobody really want to do anything about it because nobody wants to be the one that stirred the pot. So everybody wants to try to hush hush and 
you know, let's not talk about it. But yeah, I, I feel really, I don't feel comfortable with the legal system at all when it comes to disabled rights. And um, unfortunately, it, it, a lot of, lot of, lot of attorneys out there are not going to fight for your loved one. And you know, every, every, every talks a good game, a great game, but when it comes down to the gritty. It, it's pretty difficult. Mm. Um, how have the doctors been? Have the doctors been pretty accurate? Have they been helped out a lot? Or have the professional, the people in the profession, as far as advising you, or as far as medication and what medication is good and what's not good? Have, how, how's the medical part of it for Johnny? Has it been really helpful? Has it made any difference? Yeah, I think with the medical stuff, I. Uh... The, the hardest thing we found is really nobody really wanted to talk to him or really they just want to prescribe medicines most of the time. Every, a lot of times they, they, you know, people want to prescribe medicines and how you doing? He's doing okay. Here's his, his, his script and all right, bye. And uh, and, it, and it's nothing too. This is a main problem that you're going to you're going to experience if you have any any behavior situation with your disabled person. Everything moves so slow. Like if you're trying to get ABA therapy, any kind of therapy, it takes almost a year to get started. By that time, it's too late most of the time. It, it should move faster. There's no reason why the system moves slow. Uh, it's actually slower than molasses because if you like, we I know for a lot of therapies we put in, it's been over a year and we're they're still not implemented yet. We're still on a waiting list. So how is that supposed to help with anything? Huh? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll, I'll get. I'll get it later. Um, Don't leave it. Um, let me see. Uh, um, I'm trying to know. Uh, where was the signs about what well, recently about the the yourself of your son in an instant? Can you you can you don't have to go into real detail. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, my son, I noticed uh, a lot of marks on him, and uh. Whatever your provider, I don't care if it's an agency or independent provider, it doesn't matter. You, there's, a, there's a sheet, you got to fill that sheet out. And you're supposed to mark down, log any marks on that client, so that way it's documented. It's legal documentation, so they can't say, well, he got hurt or she got hurt under your care. And then so you could get the people that abusing them out of the picture and get people in there to keep, keep him or her safe. Uh, I noticed the marks, and, of course, he had black eyes. Um swollen his face was swollen stuff like that and it was you know stuff like that so i knew for sure um yeah and his demeanor too he was real skittish real scared and it was definitely a trying experience so we could tell by the marks on him um, that's, that's what I said. um and by, by that how has um the law enforcement community have they how have they been towards it when when that when you reported it and how was they responded to it you know uh, when you made the initial report about and then it went to the county and then it went to the other how how have the agencies have helped have they been any help have they, was they really considerate or have was they, have they really uh it depends on the area you're in um some areas that we're experiencing right now are actually trying they but they're actually trying to stop us from putting in putting in reports, filing reports, actually trying to block us, trying to have all this different stuff in there. You can't do the, I'm going to tell you right now, you can file any police report no matter what. Don't let them tell you you cannot file a police report. You have that right to file a police report anytime. And if they tell you you can't because of this and that, pursue it. Um, Since some will try to block you. Whoa. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, let me see. Let me see. The doctors, the judges, have the judges been fair? What, in the legal system, the, the lawyers? Yeah, that part been pretty fair so far. Oh, okay. uh, so I, I can't really downplay too much of that. You know, it just us getting there is, is a difficult part. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is really, yeah, I've known this guy for four years, and he's a tougher boy. He's been in <laughs> two, he's been in the Army and Air Force. He, he, he's a he's a military man, and, he, you know, he's a tough one. And, he, you know, it takes a tough man to go through what he's been through, and, and uh, I take my hat off to him. Uh, yeah, you know, and, and I feel like this is important, and that's why I wanted, to, you know, me doing this video, and I really appreciate John doing this and opening this up, 
because you know this is some kind of personal and, and people and just for the sake of it for people who are going through something similar in your city or in your state that, that's one of the reasons why that's the reason why um, I did this video but uh yeah I'm oh, sorry but yeah but yeah but this is his uh uh, G, this is his Gmail. If you can get it, you didn't see it the first time. <laughs> oh yeah, first couple times. <laughs> uh, you can see it the first time, and uh, this is his over here. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's been a tough road to go. Yeah. It has, and I said I, I think this is really important. You know, as I say before, because uh, this is something that's hit this hush hush. Uh, they kind of like this is something that everybody pretends is not actually going on, and everybody protecting your loved ones. That's unfortunately not the case, and there's all this support out there, which is not the case. Uh, like I said, lots of a lot of stuff looks great on paper. Everybody has all this. Oh, we support autism, and we do this, we do do that. But what do they really do? Do you help the families that need the help, not the ones that have all kind of support, that have had the providers and have all the extra help in the house. The ones that actually need help, the ones that have nobody, the single moms, single dads go through this. Where's their, you know, are they helping them? And, and usually the answer is no. That's why I want to get everybody together so we can help each other and get through this. Because what I'm trying to do is actually build a strong group to actually help and fight for people with autism and any disability. Because uh, I'm uh, doing this, I have a lot of connections, and I'm going to continue to work on connections. Uh, we're stronger in strengths, you know, when we have a lot of people. Uh, we're weak when we're individual. When we're, our strength is togetherness. So I really appreciate you, you know, to thank you very much for interviewing me. Hey, yeah. God bless. Like I said, if you have any questions, he has a PayPal. So you can also send it, you know, any donation you want to him, to him too, to his PayPal. Because like I said, we're trying to get this, make this a huge, huge organization. And this is where we're going to start at right now. And for that, we need your help. Thank you. Wow. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. 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 This is my buddy John from from out of Youngstown, well, Youngstown slash Austin Town, Ohio. Uh, yeah. Like I said, we go back over 40 years. I mean, we we've been best friends for since since school, and so that's why. And you know, get to know me. So I hope that, you know, you feel, you get to see that this real person. Because I make I made a video about this and before about, and, and this is the this is the John I was telling y'all about, and what he what he's been going through. And so I, I hope you you guys uh, you, let me get in front of the camera. <laughs> I, I hope you guys uh, you know, reach out to him. And if you have any questions and any concern, if no matter if you're a woman or a man or sibling that's that's going through something like that.